everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm finally going to show you guys all of the cute little stationery bits that I have now put in my Hobonichi drawer pouch. Um, I purchased this I think sometime in April or May or something like that. And I've been buying pens like crazy, I'm not even joking. I've been buying pens like crazy all year. I feel like 2020 has just been the year that I've been buying um, like a ton of ballpoints and fountain pens and all of these amazing writing utensils, so I wanted something cute to put it all in. So this is the small Hobonichi drawer pouch. Um, it is in the Memoria uh, design by Mina Perhonen. This is the little pen pouch that I keep with me when I'm journaling in my A6 Hobonichi and in my memory keeper, which is this week's over here. I actually have this little setup that I really like. Um, I keep this um, on a little like, TV tray or it's like a tray that you can use in like bed when you're sitting in bed. Um, I have like this, I have all of my journals, a few um, other stickers. So I keep all of my journaling supplies together on a tray just for easy access and it just makes everything super easy for me because everything is in one place and I don't necessarily need to clean it up every single time I want to journal. I can kind of just leave it and like move it off to the side whenever I need some space. I'm still really obsessed with this pattern. I think it is so beautiful. I really like the color variations in some of these butterflies and I think I got a good pattern placement as well. Hobonichi also does have a few other different sizes um, that I really like and some of them are available on Amazon so I'll try and link um, everything that I can down below in the description box so you guys can check them out as well. So I have a lot of stuff in here as you guys can see, but my zipper still um, is very smooth. I can still zip it up all the way um, and it is quite chunky and very cute. So um, I really like it like that. So let's open it up like this and I can go through all the cute things that I have in here. Um, so I will start in the back here. I have a few of my favorite mild liner colors in the back. Of course, I really like all of these pastels for actually highlighting text, but this is my favorite um, color of Mott Liner of all time. Uh, I think it is one of their slightly newer colors. Um, it is just, it's not a brush tip or anything, just the regular highlighter, but this is kind of like a corally orangey color, I guess you can say. I don't think it has a number on it. Oh my god, written in tiny little letters, it says coral pink on it. If that ever runs out, I would have no problem repurchasing it again. So beside all of my mild liners, I do have my two fountain pens here. This is the one that I picked up last year, I think. This is a Platinum Plaisir pen. It is in the color Ice White, which is actually a silver. This is one of my favorite pens uh, to use. The ink dries really, really quickly, um, and I don't have to like worry about it, I guess. I've changed the cartridge again. I think I'll be able to go through maybe four cartridges a year, which is pretty good considering um, their price point. I know I can get converters. I'm planning on getting a few, but not for this one because I do like having a pen that just has black ink. I really like using this pen in my Hobonichi journal, uh, so I don't have to worry about ink smudging when I'm writing really fast. I believe that was also a very affordable pen as well, so both the ink cartridges um, and the actual pen itself. Um, it's very good for this price because it is also an aluminum pen. So it's not a plastic one like this one. So this is my second fountain pen. This is a Lamy. Uh, it is from the 2019 collection actually and I do also have a green one. This one is called Blue Macaron. I haven't inked up my green one yet because I wanted to purchase a different uh, ink color for that one as well as a converter, but I inked up this one with the cartridge that comes in it because it is a blue color. This is, um, I purchased this in a medium nib and I think the writing, oh my god, it is so smooth. It is one of my favorite, um, like writing experiences. Uh, it's just really smooth and very, um, how do I say this? The ink flows very nicely and smoothly out of it. I really like the color and the texture of this pen in particular because it is a really nice smooth uh, plastic. I think the limited edition versions and colors for this year um, actually have a texture to them and I think I prefer this one because it is shiny and of course pastel which goes with my color theme. I was interested in a few other fountain pens but I do find that Lamy and Platinum are very affordable, especially these two. So in this front pocket, it's actually uh, kind of like a smile pocket. It kind of curves down a little bit. I do keep another row of pens. And of course, I do have 
the Hobonichi pen. This was from 2019. I'm almost done. A few more of my ink refills in here. I still have some red. Uh, but I just keep this in here to journal with if I want to. Take quick notes. Um, and beside it I have my favorite Pentel brush pens as well. So these are the Pentel Touch Sign Pens. I have it in the gray color and the black in here. I have a few other colors but I gravitate towards these two. Uh, maybe I should actually keep this with my cousin because I've been using it a lot in that planner but um, I use this gray one a lot in my A6 as many of you know. So I have a few pen editions here. Uh, these ones are the ones that I've been waiting for for a very long time and these are also Uni Jetstream pens but they are in limited edition bodies. Um, I think you can get some of these on maybe like eBay or um, Etsy. Uh, but these are all from Japan. Uh, like I said, they are Uni Jetstream, but they're just the single body ones, and I think they're so cute. So um, I got this one, which is a Minnie Mouse one. Uh, so it has a pink body, and it just has a bow. This is in 0 0.5 tip, and then this one is also 0 0.5, but it has Mickey and Minnie on it, which is so cute. Um, I do have... Uh, I also picked up another pen that... Um, I decided not to put in here, but this is a Uniball Signo retractable pen. The Jetstreams and the Signo pens are my favorites to use, both in Hobonichis and in other planners. Um, so I decided to pick up another one. This one is a limited edition Hello Kitty one. Um, and this is in 0 0.38. Yeah, here it is. Uh, so I did get another Hello Kitty one uh, in a pink color. This is also a Signo um, pen as well, so I'll, I don't need all of these in one pouch, but I think they look really cute together. But one of these um, I will keep with my cousin to use on stickers, and another one I will uh, keep on my desk. So those are all the pens that I have up here, and these are mainly the ones that I use on an everyday basis. Maybe I should keep one of these Jetstream pens on my desk as well, but right now I'm just really enjoying them here. Um, I do have uh, another one of these Hobonichi pens on my desk, so maybe I don't need to, but I think they're cute in this pencil case for now. So in this little itty bitty pocket, I do have a few things. I have a small little pad of post-it notes, and then I do have these little bags that have more post-it notes, stickers, and little pieces of like ephemera that I cut out out of like probably some like stationary packages. Uh, I'm all of these things uh, go in my journal. I have some washi stickers in here that I use to decorate and then some of these came from like Kiki K packaging and things that I just want to paste in and decorate my A6 in. So I just keep them in little bags. Um, I've reused them from Happy Mail so I think they're a really nice size to fit in this pocket as well. I also do have a little magnetic bookmark. This is from Hello Paper Cat. This is her Villacuma one and I thought um, this little guy matched the brown interior of this uh, drawer pouch, so I decided to keep him there. As you can see in this zippered compartment, I do have more little plastic baggies, and again, they are of little stickers and ephemera pa packs that I like using. Uh, oh, this one's empty. But uh, this is another set of stickers, sticker flakes that I, I want to use in my planner, but I don't want to carry around the full package with me. So usually I just take like one or two of each design and I stick them in a little pocket and I did the same with these. These are all little, these are all like um, those thin washi stickers. You know they come in like sets, you can get them on Etsy or AliExpress, uh, but they're like these. I really like layering them in my Hobonichi because they're kind of thin, I can layer them a lot and they're very fun to decorate with. So um, I just went through all of my packs and picked out like maybe half of my collection to put in here uh, and I just put them in separate little baggies from different sets so um, I can easily sort through them. I don't need to bring out like my whole pack of stationery in order to journal so I have just these little convenient bags of cuteness in there. Also in the, this zipper pocket at the very top I do have a mini glue stick. I usually have like two glue sticks on the go so um, I have that one tucked in the corner there and it fits really well. So as you can see here, if I open this up, there is an elastic that uh, is sewn into this zippered side of the Hobonichi drawer pouch. So you can slide in your pens and they won't move around. 
Um, I do have a few other um, mild liners that I use less often. So these are just the two gray colors. Uh, I also have a pink Muji pen and then this is uh, another pen from Miniso, I think. And in the very, very tight corner over here, I keep another one of the Hobonichi freebie pens. This one is from 2018. Uh, so I've been collecting these pens for a very long time and I really like them. Uh, I just wanted to keep this one in here uh, in case any of these other ones go missing or, <laughs> I don't know, when you're journaling things tend to get lost a little bit. So I just like having another one in the back there. Uh, tucked into the very far corner is my pair of tweezers. I just got this one because I wanted to uh, use them when I'm filming and just to easily put down my stickers. This is a really pretty hollow design and it's super long and very very pointed. So I'll, qu I'll be able to like quickly pick things up like really really easily and they're very like they're very precise I guess you can say. Um, I do also have another pair that is pink that I bought that's kind of curved. So you might be able to see some of these in some of my plan with me's. Maybe I should also keep this in the front here, but I don't want to accidentally like take out this plastic piece that closes it together because I don't want to ruin uh, the fabric here. So the very last thing that I have tucked in the very, very corner of my pouch uh, is this washi cutter. Um, I don't keep washi, like rolls of washi, um, all the time. Actually, I do keep washi, but they are just in little, like, samplers. Um, I find these really easy to use, um, and I like sticking them in the back pocket because they're flat, and I guess I can put pens in here as well, but... Usually when I'm journaling, I don't need really, really long strips of washi. I just need, like, really small ones, so I like um, having these guys in the back here. But, in case I ever do have... Um, a washi roll and want to cut straight with it, um, I will use this guy to clip onto the washi roll and then rip it off like that. I do have a tendency of like dropping this on the ground so I have to be a little bit careful. I gotta put it in the zipper. So uh, that is it for my little Hobonichi drawer pouch tour. <laughs> I can definitely fit a lot more stuff in here if I wanted to but I think this is the capacity that I will keep it at for the next while. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will try to link everything as much as possible in the description so you guys uh, will be able to find those there. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh, I'm just so in love with this. I will be filming a lot more videos, especially in the last quarter of the year, so uh, keep an eye out, subscribe. If you want to turn on notifications, do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!